This is Tyson Haskins here again on your rectangles for another profile. It's the segment where we find people who are great at what they do. And today we've made the trek to Morgan. We're going to talk to best-selling author Jennifer Nielsen. My name is uh, Jennifer A. Nielsen. I am a New York Times best-selling author of several titles for young readers, including The False Prince, which is part of the Ascendance Trilogy, A Night Divided, The Traitor's Game, and soon to come, Resistance. I have released 13 books. I've got another five on contract, and then we'll see where it goes from there. I was born in Bountiful, Utah, raised in Bountiful, and now we just kind of keep edging our way northward. Now I live in the mountains of Utah, and we love it here. When I was young, I'd read a book, and I'd go to look up the author of that book. I didn't believe that uh, authors were real people. They all just were living other magical lives, if they were even alive at all. Uh, it changed in sixth grade when I read The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton. It was the very first time when I went to look up the author. It wasn't an old dead guy. It was a teenage girl, still alive. And I thought, wait a minute. A teenage girl wrote my all-time favorite book. If she could do it, why couldn't I? When I first started writing in, in my mind, I was just awesome. But I wasn't, I was terrible. They say it takes your, your million pages of writing. I cleared through my million pages, kept on going, and eventually I wasn't terrible. And then one day I was good enough for someone to say, yes, we'll publish your work. But I think it's a mistake for anybody to assume that the people who get published or the people who hit any degree of success start out being very successful. It's rarely that way. They just start from wherever they're at and don't quit. My standard now is I don't quit until I can't make it any better, only different. But if there's a way to continue making it better, then I'm still going on it. Uh, if someone came to me and said, hey, I, I want to become a published author um, of any age, what should I do? And this would be my advice. That book that made you want to be a writer, uh, you're going to need it and a highlighter and a pen. Highlight everything you love, a line of dialogue, a description, the way the chapter ends, and write in the margins with the pen. Why did you love this? It will teach you more about writing than a dozen books on how to write because you'll be learning from the book that made you want to write. I think for anyone who works in the arts, it's a mistake to believe that all they do is focus on that specific art. I think any artist who becomes that single-minded, they, they stop refilling their own creativity. Interacting with the world keeps me engaged with it. If, if I'm not speaking with young people, how could I ever write for them? And a lot of the reason I do it is because I know what it would have meant to me. I loved books and I had story in my head and no idea what to do with it all. It would have meant everything to have met or even seen a real author. A few years ago, I was in Poland uh, touring uh, the ghetto in Krakow and came upon a sign uh, just for tourists that talked about the underground theater. And that opened all these doors to figuring out uh, the true history about the Jewish teenagers who fought back against the Nazis. And that will be my next book, which is Resistance. My current release is The Traitor's Game, which Entertainment Weekly called one of the most anticipated releases of 2018. One of the real exciting things as an author is hoping that uh, maybe Hollywood might get some interest in uh, something that you've written. There is a screenplay being written for A Night Divided, which is a Berlin Wall escape story. So fingers crossed on that. I'm waiting along with everyone else to see how that process goes. I believe that everyone has a dream. I absolutely believe it's not about who's the most talented, who's the most well-connected. I believe that success comes to the person who decides right now that they will never give up trying. To that person, eventually when the lightning strikes for them, they're ready to catch it. You just never, never give up. My special thanks to Jennifer. Much continued success in the future. Hey, and if you know someone who would make a great profile, make sure and send me an email, tyson at parkcity.tv, and we'll see you on the next one.